Hey, hi, this is Elisa from elisa.com where we help purpose-driven women entrepreneurs and some smart men grow and launch their meaningful business, raise their online profile and get them to six figures faster to live the rich life they desire. So welcome back to this week's video of the week and in this week I want to talk about how having an eye for detail will help you grow and launch your business faster. Alright, so I want to be sharing with you a personal story. So a couple of weeks ago, I decided that I want to have a staycation with my family. And you know, I should have known better, but I decided the room based on price. So I was being a bit of a cheapo to myself and I was thinking, okay, you know, this is not going to be that much of a difference. So we checked in and to our horror, the room was small. It was disgusting. I mean, not really disgusting, but it was really small and there wasn't a place to you know, walk around the chairs were so like broken and I told myself oh my god what have I done myself to so we tolerate and since we paid for it and so I said you know what we're not gonna talk but the last thing I want to do is to make myself and let my my family feel the worst so I told my husband you know what um, we check out early the next day and that night was the most uncomfortable and horrible night ever you know, we were close to the karaoke session lounge and they were singing throughout the night. Although, you know, the cutoff point was at 12 o'clock, but I think they sang till 3 a.m. It was so horrible. So we called and we sort of like, you know, gave a feedback and they said, you know what, Mrs. Lin, we will transfer you to another room and change you to the suite. And oh my god, it was such a pleasant experience. The rooms were bigger, the rooms were bigger, the room was bigger. They had this extra living room. Such a So I told myself I never to put myself in a situation again and long to decide how I will live. So I recently decided to go have a lashes done and um, I've been doing it for a while. I have basically I have this I think the need for perfection, right? So after the lady did it for me, I checked the other lady, I said, you know what like a whole thing of the So she's like, oh up and obviously this side was balanced. I think you need to this up as well. And she's like, you know what? You don't want to do too much because then it's not going to be trying to know. I have I have this need to be perfect, you know, otherwise I'm gonna come back again tomorrow and have you do it for me again. So why not get it fixed now? So I took a stand for that perfection and that eye for detail. So that eye for detail, uh, you know, another story let me share with you. So I did my nails beginning of the month hoping that it will last through Christmas but for some apparent reason the nails didn't last through Christmas one nail started lifting one by one and my glue sort of like dried up and I tolerated and I told myself I was going to do it on the 26th and then on the 24th I said you know what I can't take it anymore it's really driving me nuts I need to go get it done so I called my manicurist and I said I need to come like tomorrow I, I need to come so I was like okay come 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 and so now I have fancy nails and it feels so good so how that translates to your business that I for detail it's by not settling taking a stand for perfection taking a stand for what makes you feel good about yourself when you feel good about yourself, you would then make your clients, customers feel good about themselves because it's all about the energy and you would attract good yummy clients as well because you attract what you believe, you attract what you radiate. So imagine if you're in that yucky place, not feeling good about yourself, you know, just in that zone, what are you going to be attracting? So having that eye for detail will help you up level and take your business to the next level because it's you're vibrating at a different frequency. See, you're taking a stand for what you feel you deserve, what you deserve, you're born to live out the best. Look at, just look outside, look at the plant, look at what God has created, what the, what the universe has created, right? It's beautiful, right? So God has an eye for beauty as well. He creates everything with perfection, the color combination, you know, and everything is to a geometrical symmetry. So likewise, in your life, you deserve to live out the best. Don't tolerate. Don't settle. And from that space, you will start growing and, and growing your business to the next level. I hope you've enjoyed this week's, this week's tip. If you did, leave me a comment below. Share it, tweet it, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right? So I'll see you soon. Bye.